This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Back again. Well, I'm going to really be quiet now because she's got a whole bunch to say about a story coming up. That's so, right. I got a whole lot to say. Okay. All right. I'm so, going to take a nap. <laughs> George Caleb Bingham, but you're going to be riveted by this, Frank. So, mm -hmm. George Caleb Bingham, of course, the, the famous um, artist, um, regional artist, painted scenes along the Missouri River, uh, just incredible, incredibly talented man. His most famous painting, though, is probably Orders Number 11, about the Jayhawkers, the federal forces, putting people in Missouri off their land following Quantrill's raid on Lawrence. So that um, painting made him very famous. It made Thomas Ewing infamous, um, just a lot of repercussions from that painting. Well, our friends at Wide Awake Films in Kansas City have done a mind-blowing documentary on the life of George Caleb Bingham. And we are going to share the trailer with you in hopes that you can attend one of the screenings that is coming up. On October 15th, there is a screening at Arrow Rock State Park in Missouri. If you've never been to Arrow Rock, um, I can't recommend it highly enough. Beautiful, um, preserved village. And then October 27th at the Nelson Atkins Art Gallery. So two great opportunities to see it. You can order the DVD or the Blu-ray now. And um, Wide Awake, they've won umpteen Emmys. They must have a room just to hold their Emmys because they won so many. So it's a fine documentary. And if you're wondering what all that has to do with Kansas, of course, Kansas had an awful lot to do with Order Number 11 and the Missouri-Kansas border war. So Kansas plays a huge role in this story, and you're going to be blown away by this trailer and then by the film itself. Let's see it. It was supposedly found in an antique shop. It wasn't even signed. He spotted it in the window, and he recognized it as a great, iconic masterpiece. A masterpiece with the humblest of origins. He learned his trade from traveling painters. He wandered the country, painting elites and commoners, and anyone who could pay with gold or silver. But he made his name Painting the river. He helps us to understand who we are as a nation and how we came to think of ourselves as Americans. He constructed an American identity out of that stuff of the frontier that had resonance on a national scale. He ran for office and voiced his opinions on canvas. He filled those paintings with his friends and neighbors and enemies. There were more than a few of those. Many more after he dared speak out in a time when men were jailed or shot if they stood on the wrong side of a debate. It's like this thirst for revenge overrides everything. And it cost him money, jobs, prestige. What kind of man was he? Westerner. Highly ambitious. One of the very first American artists to make a national reputation. He helps us to see where we've been and perhaps where we might go in the future. Buying a car shouldn't be this hard. And at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego, it isn't. It's actually awesome. 
Whether you want a new or used car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. Even if you want to custom order a new car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. See Toby's team at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamigo. We're awesome.